Trustee as President of the Republic, I paid a three-day working visit to the Ashanti region as part of my tour of the entire country, which has since become an annual routine undertaking of mine over the last three years. My itinerary in Ashanti that year brought me to the abandoned maternity and children's block of the Confanochi Teaching Hospital, Kumase. I was made to understand at the time that this project had begun in 1976 as part of the Confanochi Teaching Hospital expansion project that came to a standstill in 1979. It was reactivated in 1999 under the administration of the first president of the Fourth Republic his Excellency Jerry John Rawlins, but again stalled shortly afterwards. In 2004, the administration of the second president of the Fourth Republic, His Excellency John Ajikum Kufu, took it up. But soon after his departure from office in January 2009, at the end of his mandate, work on this project was discontinued until the assumption of office of another NPP administration, the Akufuado government in 2017. In my remarks after the visit to this project site, I pledged that government would undertake a comprehensive assessment of the situation and would ensure that the necessary funds would be secured for the completion of this important piece of health infrastructure. A year ago, when I cut the sword for the commencement of phase two of the redevelopment project of the Kumase Central Market and the provision of associated infrastructure, I also indicated that Parliament had approved a 155 million euro loan to finish and equip the maternity and children's block of the Confanochi Teaching Hospital. We appreciate the assistance of the German bank, Deutsche Bank, and the British government through the UK Export Finance, UKEF, in providing this funding. So, eminent clergy, 
Ashanti Regional Minister, Minister for Health, Minister for Food and Agriculture, Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, MP for Subin, KMA Chief Executive, Chair and Chief Executive of Confuanoche, Nananum Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm very happy to be in Kumasi today, the virus notwithstanding, to cut the sword for work to begin finally to complete this ultra-modern maternity and children block. A project which is to be carried out within 36 months and whose funding has been fully secured. Once it is put up, the maternity and children's block will be a state-of-the-art modern health edifice with pediatrics, gynecology and obstructive units. It will serve as a referral center for 12 of the 16 regions of our country. It will be a 750 bed building with outpatient areas for adults and children and it will have 10 operating theaters and diagnostic rooms fully equipped with x-ray, ultrasound and mammography facilities. It will house an intensive care unit a high dependency unit, isolation rooms, and student lecture halls with the capacity to provide catering services for staff, patients, and students. As you all know, in addition to being President of the Republic, I'm also privileged to act as co-chair of the group of eminent advocates for the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goal. The finalization of this project is as very dear to my heart as it will have a positive impact on our country's drive towards achieving the SDG targets under maternal and child health. In my eighth address to the nation in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, I indicated that the virus has exposed the deficiencies of our public health system and has revealed the unequal distribution of health care structures around our country. Government is committed to providing access to health care to every Ghanaian, no matter where they are, for every Ghanaian is entitled to good health and good health care. That is the reason for embarking this year on the development of 88 district hospitals Agenda 88, to ensure every district has a district hospital and seven regional hospitals for the seven regions that do not have one, all of which are to be done within a year. We are making these investments in our health care system because it is self-evidently necessary to serve the needs of 21st century Ghana. The rapid execution of policies such as the ban on public gatherings, the closure of our schools and borders, has resulted in our low COVID-19 infection, hospitalization and death rates, some of the lowest in Africa and the world. Our policies are working, so let us all abide by them. I thus encourage each and every one of you in Asante Mai and the rest of Ghana during this era of the virus to observe the social distancing and enhanced hygiene protocols that I have outlined. Do not forget to wash your hands regularly with soap under running water. Use alcohol-based sanitizers. Refrain from shaking hands. Cover your mouths and nose when you cough or sneeze. Wear your masks at all times in public. Eat well from nutritious Ghanaian foods and follow a good diet to boost your immune system. So, Eminent Clergy, Otufo, Ashanti Regional Minister, Minister for Health, Minister for Food and Agriculture, Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, MP for Subi, KMA Chief Executive, Chair and Chief Executive of Confuanoche, Nananum Ladies and Gentlemen. Government is aware, as underlined by the Chief Exec Executive, that one of the critical challenges confronting teaching hospitals in our country, like Confuanoche, 
has to do with the unavailability of land for future expansion. I'm privy to the discussions that are taking place between Menshia and the board of this hospital for the possible release of additional lands for other projects, such as the Centers of Excellence for Cardiothoracic, Renal, Organ Transplant, Infectious Disease and Diagnostic Services, among others. The people of this region, and indeed the entire country, look forward eagerly to the conclusion and implementation of these discussions. In a related matter, I take this opportunity to commend respectfully Otumfo for his support in helping to relocate the military barracks adjacent to this hospital. I'm urging the Ministries of Defense and Health to hasten the dialogue and finalize all outstanding issues with Menshia in this regard. Let me conclude by wishing the great king, Utumfo Seto II, the second, the redoubtable Asantehine, once again, many congratulations on his 70th birthday. <laughs> he has joined all, the, all those of us who have been blessed to attain our biblical portion of three score and ten. I wish him a long, healthy life and many more years of his illustrious reign as the 16th occupant of the golden stool of the renowned Osepuku Royal Oyoko Dynasty of Asante Man. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare the, construc the construction of the Confuanochi Teaching Hospital Maternity and Children's Block duly reactivated. And I hope the project implementation team will work diligently and accomplish the project within the stipulated time on budget, as I'm confident they will. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.